Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a specimen to review today. Another Canadian legend, okay? It's in the blood, all right? It's in the blood. We're looking at Jonathan David's new striker card for future stars. 5 foot 10, high, high work rates, right footed. Three star skills with a five star weak foot. A little bit underwhelming they didn't give him the weak, uh, not the weak foot, excuse me. Ooh, the skill move upgrade definitely would have been very nice in this game because obviously four star minimum is always really nice to have. Uh, in game player traits, he has these solid player traits. Still need to look at what that actually does in game because I still have no idea. Uh, 91 acceleration with 96 sprint speed for base card stats, pretty good. Uh, we're going to be giving him the finisher chemistry style to boost his dribbling as much as possible, considering the fact that he is a five foot ten player with drum roll please an average body type so we're going to see what that dribbling is like in game very important that he has the five star weak foot because obviously for finishing it's very nice to have uh in games he's got 85 92 85 with 79 volleys at 94 composure so it's good that when we give him the finisher chemistry style we're boosting all of the four main shooting stats in shot power finishing attacking positioning and volleys while having good composure as well right so base card stats for passing is very good for someone that's going to be playing in the striker position i'm going to try him out next to ronaldo up top for this team uh dribbling on the car is at an 88 83 fragility and balance with 89 dribbling we are going to be boosting that to a 98 uh, with 93 balance while having 85 reactions 88 ball control 99 dribbling and 94 composure so i do think i do think that his dribbling isn't necessarily going to be the best but i mean the finisher chemistry style is the only real choice you're going to give him we're going to see if he has sharp dribbling in game or if we can compensate for the dribbling because you know with Isaac, he's not necessarily the best card like we said in the review but you can compensate for the dribbling with the engine chemistry style right could be the same case with uh David's card in game two. The funny thing about David is that uh, <laughs> it was just this back and forth thing with his OTW card. Like, is he going to get upgraded? Is he not going to get upgraded? And it was really funny because only recently has he even scoring goals again, for, uh, scoring goals again in general. So pretty cool, right? 94 stamina, 83 for strength, 95 for jumping at 89 heading accuracy. Heading I don't really care about. It's not really an effective thing to use. Like you can score a header, but you know. Uh, anyways, we're going to be using the 3-5-2. You guys know the vibes. We're going to be using David up top with Cristiano Ronaldo. Kulisevsky, I just love using for fun. So I'm just going to switch Neymar off to the side because, I don't know, man. Kulisevsky, uh, no, we'll, we'll use him on the right side. Like, I just, I love using him. I don't know, man. He has that sharp dribbling and it works so well with his body type, right? But with David, guys, we are going to be using him on the, uh, this was for the review before. We're going to be using him on the stay forward instructions, him and Ronaldo, right? So they're basically going to work off each other. I really hope his attacking AI is good. And if it's not crazy, it's probably going to be like a stay central target man type flex with him where as long as I get the specific position uh, to shoot from, you know, he does have 99 finishing with 95 shot power. So we'll see what the vibes are, man. We'll see what the vibes are. But that five-star weak foot, huge game changer. Hopefully his left stick dribbling is good, man. Holy foot champs cards. Wow. Okay, bro. Damn, he's got some good selections too, bro. Jeez. Oh, the Canadian link-up, please. Oh my god, I wish he scored that. That's why heading is not that relevant in this game. But oh, that link-up would have been so beautiful. Do the thing, David. Let's go. Touch. I mean, you notice his dribbling a little bit, but you could definitely work with it for sure. So you kind of see the sway on the card a little bit, you know? Adjust your angle. Nice, David. Let's go, baby. Good job. I like that when I don't tell them they do that, you know? It's very important. Ooh, angled run right there. Fully commits into the space because the other person's going in there. I like it. I like it. First time. Beautiful. Fake shot. Get him on his five-star weak foot. Let's go. Let's go, my Canadian brethren! Yes! We hit those! We hit those. Guys, it's in our blood. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just... It's just the Canadian sauce, bro. It's the maple syrup. Nice. Little dummy. Okay. Beautiful stuff. I like it. What do you do after the pass? Okay, a little bit of overcommitment. I like it. So we get back into this position here. Boom, touch. Woo! I just need that one angle, bro. I got the shooting stats, baby. 
Oh, open up that space for me down there. Let's go. Kulisevsky. This guy's pushing on his goalkeeper. Okay. A little bit of left stick dribbling. Bang. There we go. There we go. Ah. Oh. When it comes to this card, guys, so you know how, like, when I did the tutorial thing, not the tutorial thing, but the breakdown of uh, Anders' gameplay, uh, you know how a lot of the goals that they score is basically, like, those really, really quick touches? That's what you're going to have to work with uh, when it comes to using David's card in your team. I like that run. David, make the angled run downwards. There you go, baby. That's all I want to see. There you go. See? You just gotta work that one angle, man. I'm only offside because it hits Neymar there. <laughs> Oi! Don't be doing that to my boy. Come on. Oh, and I thought he's gonna score that. Oh. I took this one little touch right there, man, that really messed me up. I didn't mean to do it, but, you know, you kind of have to, like, control in a certain way when it comes to, to FIFA, you know? Yeah, you see the little sway with this card. So you can't fix that base uh, characteristic of his with dribbling, which is fine. It's just going to be a thing that you have to work with, right? Little touch. Body faint. Nope. Shoot across. Let's go. Just, just regular left stick. No shot cancel right there, you know? The thing about this card, guys, is that these are the types of cards where you just have to find that angle. Shoot, and then he'll probably score it, you know? You know what's really funny about his attacking AI is that it's not generic at all. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Like, he does the angled runs, he makes those runs behind, you know? It's not like, a, it's not stagnant attacking AI at all. You could even see in that situation right there how he triggers it every single time. You see angled downwards, right? So it's definitely a usable striker in that regard, right? It has all the, the right stuff to make him nice. First time. Let's go, baby five star weak foot. Let's go. Ah, a little bit of emphasis right there. It's nice to be able to do the first time fake shot and just dribble immediately, right? Makes a huge difference for sure. Because then I can work off of that run that uh, Ronaldo would probably make right there. Let's go, David! Chip that! Oh, I just... <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I mistimed that like crazy. Oh, buddy, please. Please. Come on, it's David, bro. It's David, bro. Oh, come on, bro. This is a goal scoring machine over here. Woo, I got him on the shot cancel there, too. Oh, go in. Ah, uh, I could have just shot that right away, but you know, I gotta go saucy with David. I gotta go pure saucy. And this guy thinks he's going to pull the goalkeeper against Team of the Year Ronaldo. I don't know. I don't know about these guys sometimes, boys. Oh, oh, I, if he scored that. Oh, if he scored that. Oh, my. Yo, imagine this card, the finesse shot trade. Jeez. Oh, we're just getting him on the shot cancel like crazy, boys. Just quick little... Bang, 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 done. He's a goal scoring machine, mate. Dude, that shot cancel is so helpful to kind of like just touch the ball in a certain direction and accelerate it. It's kind of nice. All right, guys, so final verdict on this David card. So for me personally, guys, it's going to be a combination of either giving him the finisher chemistry style or the marksman chemistry style. And the reason being for this is because that base characteristic of his with dribbling, you can't really fix. He does do the emphasis touches. So no matter what chemistry style you give him, that's always going to be a relevant thing with the card, right? So what your main focus has to be because of his pace being good and his passing being good is obviously boosting the dribbling and the shooting as much as possible. But you could also look to boost his physicality as much as possible. 
possible too because, you know, from an 83 strength to a 93 is not necessarily bad. Boosting his uh, dribbling, ball control, and reactions to compensate for that base dribbling that he has with his agility and balance could also be very nice. But you're also boosting the long shots by a plus 10. I was personally using them, uh, using him on the finisher chemistry style, and I felt like it did a good enough job to compensate for the dribbling, but it was still very noticeable in game, right? So if you guys decide to use this card in your team, that is something that you're always going to notice. His attacking AI is actually not that bad. He does make the angled runs and whatnot, but it's not like the full meta attacking AI, obviously. Um, you know, I always say this, but like, you know, flashback Higuain, which was a surprise. He has amazing attacking air in the striker position. David is obviously not going to move like that. I feel like in part it has to do with his high, high work rates. It's a very strange work rate uh, to have in the striker position. There's not a lot of players that I personally like with that work rate playing up there. So it's just one of those things for me, man. But uh, I enjoy using him. He's Canadian, obviously. His shooting was actually kind of nice in a lot of different positions. He was a goal-scoring machine, to be honest. He scored a lot of opportunities for me. If you can time that shot cancel to kind of make his dribbling a little bit more responsive, that's definitely very ideal to kind of get those goal-scoring opportunities. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.